Here's uh, Fred Zimmerman with another tip from a pro, part of uh, Christmas Light Contractors and uh, Christmas Light Installers. Um, we're going to teach you how to hang some holiday lights on your home for either commercially or residentially. And here's your tip from a pro. Hi, I'm Ridge Madison with Christmas Light Installers, and here's a little tip from a pro on how to run electricity. So today what we're going to be doing is our customer actually has two bushes in the front of his house, along with a pine tree that we're going to trunk wrap. So this customer we actually showed up and they don't have any electricity on the outside of their house. So what we're going to be doing is he's actually going to have that installed later this week. So we have our nifty little van here with us with an inverter on it. So we're just going to run everything from in. Now a little tip that we've learned is this right here is a GFI. So it's just in case you're working on a house and you plug up too much electricity to it, uh, you don't blow the breaker inside and have to call the customer. The next thing that you're going to want connected to the house is this is a photosensing cell uh, that dictates when the, when the electricity comes on. So uh, we're just going to start from there. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and run our, run our electricity. So. So we'll just plug directly in here with our timer on. You're just going to lay it out. Uh, one thing that you will want to do is you're going to want to uh, make sure that the walkways where people are going to be walking, uh, that you're not going to be tripping them. So a great tool to have on hand is we'll just go ahead and lay everything out the way, the way that it should go. is these little stakes. Like here we've went across a little walkway and of course you don't want to get sued or anything. So what you can do is you just take these. It's really simple. It just, uh, you just put your cord in and you just turn it, really simple. And if somebody walks by and accidentally does snag it or something, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's secure. And then you simply, you just find a spot in the ground, you push it in, that cord's not going anywhere. We'll go ahead and do that to the other side as well. And you simply just, sometimes you'll hit some rocks, so you gotta kind of avoid those. And you just have your cord, and no matter what hits it, it's not gonna move from that position right there. It's very secure. So we'll come on back to our bushes here. And these will be the two bushes that we're gonna be doing today. So we have our power run over to the middle of the bushes. Key is you want as few cords that you can use. Those cords are very, very expensive. So the less that you can use, the more money you're gonna save. So with what we're gonna be doing is these two bushes. So this is a three-way splitter. It comes in super handy so that you can just split power. And we're gonna be going to these bushes and that tree out there. So three-way splitter is going to fulfill all of our power needs. So we'll go ahead and just pop that on the end here. And then whenever we're going to bush it to our bushes, we can just use, uh, we call these our indoor cords. So they're about six foot long. They're a lot cheaper than the outdoor cords and uh, they're safe to use. So we'll just go ahead We'll plug those in. Whenever we go ahead and run out to these two smaller bushes, we'll use these two smaller six foot cords. As you can see here, we went ahead and tagged them on. We've got one that'll go to each bush. And then whenever we go out to trunk wrap this tree, we already ran the cord, but we'll go ahead and run this across the ground, simply just straight out to the tree. And if you're doing this early, right now we're installing this in October, you'll wanna make sure that You've talked with the customer beforehand to see if they're done mowing for the season or not. If not, you might have to come back or relay that information to the customer so that they know how to roll the cords out. And what we've done for this tree is since we're going to do a trunk wrap, just the way that it's run, the easiest way that's going to be to get power to all these branches is we simply put a three-way right in the middle of the tree. That way we can go ahead and just split out to all different points on the tree. And this concludes our exercise for electricity.